alarms have become so common some just ignore them. Standing outside during a storm siren or hitting the snooze button instead of getting up. But Barbara Bobbitt hopes this warning will sound a wake up call. The new technology is so much more powerful and affects our bodies completely different. Barbara tests homes for radiation and the demand for her services is growing. It's really all around us and I think a lot of people don't even realize what does emit electromagnetic radiation and they need to know and, and when they do find out they're startled. But should it be a concern? I'd say probably not. I'd say there are bigger things to worry about. It's a danger radiation wise. I think we'd have more definitive proof. Yeah. If that were the case. Who's to say that something like that doesn't cause um, some type of, you know, kind of headaches or kind of dangers? While there seems to be no clear signal who may eventually win this debate, scientists from both sides agree cell phones and other devices emit a form of electromagnetic radiation. So we decided to find out just how much. I would say you have way too much stuff going on right now. This consultant brought her radiation tester to a condo in Brookfield and got some of her highest readings from the cordless phone. And this is radiating all the time. The HDTV and cable box were fine, and the laptop didn't register much until the Wi Fi was turned on. But the iPad sent the instrument pulsating just as several cell phones did. Even the microwave emitted radiation that spread more than 10 feet. When it's cooking, it sends the RF meter into overload. When the readout shows a 1 because the radiation exceeds 2,000 microwatts per square meter. The same for the Wi-Fi, which is often on 24-7. But the Wi-Fi can be kept far away from our bodies, unlike a phone and its accessories. Did you want that in your head? She recommends using landlines instead of cordless or cell phones and using speaker or air tube headsets instead of Bluetooth. Barbara also insists on keeping all wireless electronics, including baby monitors and game system remotes, out of the bedroom, off your lap, and out of your pockets. Plus, getting rid of Wi-Fi modems. Any of the equipment that's wireless is a problem. But Barbara says radiation can still creep in if you're near cell towers. If Barbara gets a high reading near windows or doors and low readings inside, she recommends special kinds of film, curtains, or paint all embedded with flecks of metal that block the radiation. She says any reading over 100 microwatts per square meter is a big concern. Though FCC guidelines say the public should not be exposed to more than 10 million microwatts per square meter. What we're concerned with is the biological effect, not the thermal effect, not the heating effect. Because you're going to be potentially ill long before you've been cooked. We found Barbara through Safe Living Technologies, which sells several different testers and offers courses accredited by the International Institute for Building Biology and Ecology and approved by the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors.